Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, we got a pretty big video, so we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna be showing you guys a lot of glitches, secrets, and Easter eggs in Halo Infinite's multiplayer so far. So, starting with number one. During the intro screen, sometimes your, um, of the, of the match, sometimes your Spartan might be standing in like the wrong spot. So, if you're watching this clip here, you know, it's showing everyone's Spartan, but it hasn't showed mine yet. I actually skipped my Spartan, and then I realized that once it uh, zooms in on my character when the match starts, my Spartan's just standing right there by himself. <laughs> and I've seen like other funny videos where like Spartans are facing the wall or something like that. So that's a interesting bug that can happen sometimes. And speaking of the intro screen of matches, uh, sometimes during the intro screen, like when it shows each Spartan, it shows like their nameplates. Sometimes your nameplate can get cut off on the uh, intro screen, like here. My friend Photos Chaos's nameplate got cut off there, and so did mine. So you don't see the emblem on the nameplates. But that that happens quite a bit, actually. I've seen it quite a few times. So for number three. Now this one. <laughs> this one almost deserves its own video, actually. But for number three, theater mode on Halo Infinite is so broken. So let's watch this clip first. This is actually... Um, so this is when me and my uh, friend Photos Chaos were also experimenting with some other glitches. And you can see here, all of a sudden, in this theater mode clip, his Spartan just suddenly crouches and just starts attacking me and shooting me while constantly reloading and like firing like one shot. And it's actually damaging my Spartan in the theater clip. Now, at first glance, you may be thinking like, oh, that's probably what they were doing. They were just messing around. But if you look at his Spartan, his Spartan is just constantly shooting and reloading, shooting and reloading, and like at me sometimes. But that's not what actually happened. So if we rewind the clip, that actually fixes the theater mode glitch here. Because this is a pretty big theater mode glitch. But if we rewind, it fixes it. So here's what actually happened. So what actually happened was we actually just had a pretty much like stare off there. Or I think he went AFK or something briefly. But as you can see, he was definitely not constantly shooting and reloading at me in, at this part. So... Yeah, for some reason, theater mode completely has, like, characters, like, do completely, like, random actions that didn't actually happen. And it can be fixed by rewinding the theater clip, but, yeah, that that's so broken. Anyways, we are now on this map here. Uh, I think the map's name was Deadlock. I'm for drawing a blank on it. But there's a crashed pelican on here, and if you go inside the cockpit of the pelican, towards the back, if you look in the bottom left corner... The, uh, the callout changes from crash site to, yep, this is death. That is actually a reference from campaign from the pilot, actually during one of the initial trailers. You know, when, when like him and Chief were like flying down and getting shot at, he's like, yep, this is death. That's what it's a reference to. Now for number five, on the map streets in the arcade, there's a shelf with a bunch of comic books. And this one comic book has a symbol of a wolf on it. That wolf is actually a classic Halo 3 emblem that well, it originated from Halo 3, but you can still find it on MCC, and, well, you can use it universally now. But, yeah, that's from Halo 3, the exact same emblem, right there. Now in Halo Infinite as a little Easter egg there. Now for number 6. This is part 2 of theater mode being very broken. Like I said, this is why it uses its own video. So, right now, this footage you're seeing, this is actually in-game. This is not in theater mode yet. But on this map... Uh, High Power, I believe the name of the map is. The um, In any objective game, once a team scores the objective, like on Capture the Flag, for example, this frigate will actually fire a shot at the Covenant ship out there. And, you know, that, that happens normally. But in theater mode, when you do the exact same thing, watch the exact same clip, that ship's not even there. <laughs> it um, Yeah, the frigate just never spawned. And once it scores, it just, because it's not there, it doesn't fire a shot. Although sometimes you still hear the sound effect of the shooting, but you don't see anything. Now the Covenant ship is still there, but that's just because it's a painting against like the background. But the ship itself doesn't spawn in theater mode. Now number seven, this one's pretty notorious, and I've heard it from several people, but thanks to my friend Photos Chaos, he actually provided several clips of desync issues in Halo Infinite's multiplayer. So here in this first clip, you could see Pretty much like all the shots are definitely like hitting that Spartan there, but they're not actually hitting the Spartan. It's like, it's hitting but not hitting. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Check out this next clip. This one's pretty crazy actually. So here he got out of his, um, his wasp, and then that Spartan over there, the enemy, he's like, you can see he's meleeing nothing. 
and then all of a sudden, uh, Photos Chaos here just drops dead from a melee, according to the kill feed. So that other, that's a major desync. He was he wasn't physically there from his perspective, but still got killed. Oh, and here, check out this uh, wasp getting hit by Hydra rockets. See those rockets, that rocket trail? They're flying past his wasp, but he's still getting hit and getting blown up. He he, he technically dodged all of them from his perspective, but they all still connected to him somehow. And I've, I've been hearing that from a lot of people. Desyncs are pretty crazy issues right now, Halo Infinite multiplayer. All right, for number eight, got a little Space Invaders Easter egg here in the arcade on the map streets. You can see this machine here. It says, uh, play Slip Space Invaders. And it's using like uh, a lot of like Covenant ships as well as the, um, the that ship from uh, Halo Reach. I'm totally drawing a blank on it. But anyways, uh, also in the arcade, Oh, the Saber, that's what it was, the Saber. But anyways, also in the arcade, we uh, got this little 3 for 3 reference on this air hockey table. At least I think it's an air hockey table. And the score or the time looks like th 3 for 3. So it's another um, little 3 for 3 Easter egg in uh, on this map. For number 10, this one's actually kind of a an odd one. But uh, so you can actually put weapon charms on your weapons now in the game. And they have pretty good physics on the, uh, the weapon charms. They actually like fling around when you move. But if you walk like sideways against the wall for an extended period of time, like here, like for, for a few seconds, I'm walking against the right side of the wall. After a while, your weapon charm just like stops. The physics just stop, and it, and it just it detaches from your weapon, and it just floats in place when you walk away. And that's 100% consistent and easy to reproduce. You just gotta walk against the wall like that to the side, and then it'll it'll separate from your gun. Uh, but if you do any action, like melee or switch weapons, then the weapon charm just in instantly like teleports back to your weapon. If you like zoom in, it'll like it'll teleport and like freak out when it uh, attaches back. Speaking of freaking out, sometimes when you fail to load into a game because a server failed or some something connection failed or something like that, when you go back, your main menu is going to be freaking out and it won't. It'll keep saying like you can't join and there's no way to get like out of this until you restart your game. So that's, a, that's an issue that needs to be fixed there, to like handle that error a little bit better. Alright, for number 12. Uh, this one's a pretty small one, but once uh, you load into a game, if you load, if you look at the, uh, the, the kill feed over there, it says like people are joining. Multiple of the same people are joining apparently, like their gamer tags are like listed like multiple times, like three or even four times uh, on some occasions. But obviously only like one of each person actually joined, so it's duplicating their names for some reason. Alright. One more thing for theater mode being broken. <laughs> this one's a little bit smaller, but uh, in theater mode, if you like pause, or actually even when it like shows the game type that you're playing in theater mode, it, it's wrong. Like here, I'm on a map high power playing CTF. Yet in theater mode, as you saw there at the beginning, and when I uh, pause the theater mode clip, uh, it shows that I'm playing Arena Slayer on Bazaar, even though I'm actually on uh, CTF, BTV CTF on high power. So that's another um, bug with theater mode. And there's a lot of other things in theater mode. I could, I'll probably do like a separate video covering all the other issues in theater mode. But for now, for this video, that's that's it for theater mode issues. Now, moving on for number 14. Uh, this is more of a little interesting thing, but uh, on this map, Deadlock, I believe it was called, once again, just like the map high power, when a team scores an objective, this cannon here, the AA cannon, will actually fire a shot. You can actually block the AA cannon this time, but as it turns out, the AA cannon, even though it fires a shot like right through you, it doesn't do any damage at all. It's pretty much just an effect, a visual effect. It's not an actual projectile, like some of the AA cannons in previous Halo games. So it's pretty much just like a fake effect in that case, but it's totally harmless. So next up for number 15, uh, this one's an odd one too. If you play any BTB game types on small maps, they totally break. Like here I'm playing uh, BTB CTF, and you know it looks fun at first. I even scored the flag, but right after I scored the flag, like I have one point and I need, I need a few more captures to win, but I, the, the enemy flag is gone. It doesn't tell me to, to go grab it from anywhere. Uh, in fact, I'm going back to the enemy base now, and you can see there's no there's no flag there. It just tells me to intercept my own flag. And once the enemy scores my flag, neither side has flags anymore, and the game's just broken. It won't continue anymore. And this only happens to do BTP on small maps. And I suspect it's because 
in like BTB CTF. There's supposed to be like multiple like flag bases, and I guess the game the game type can't handle it on the small map without those extra uh, flag bases. And that clip you just saw there, that was on Stronghold. BTB Stronghold is, doesn't even spawn the zones at all. Uh, as for this game type, totally drawn a blank on this game type as well, but the power cores, they do spawn on this map, uh, but you have, no way, you have nowhere to place them. It doesn't tell you to take it to your base. Now, if you go to the bases where you think they would be, in stockpile, that's what a game type is, you can see like those collection things are there, and you actually put the cores in them, but nothing happens. It doesn't actually count. So it's totally broken there as well. And it only happens on BTB game types. Next up, I got a little cool feature to show you guys about custom games. And this was first in introduced in Halo 5. And it was kind of like a secret feature in previous Halo games. But once again, you can enable Machinima mode. And it's actually pretty, pretty useful and pretty cool to use. So if you hold down your reload button plus right on a D-pad, you can bring up the pan cam coordinates to show your exact position on the map and it's a uh, it's actually pretty useful and if you hold down reload plus up on a d-pad and you hold it for a couple of seconds you could switch to the free camera mode or pan cam mode and you could you could do some crazy exploration on uh, the maps like this and one of the feature of pan cam and this this originates from halo 3 actually but if you hold up on a d-pad you see a little number on the far right it, it's going up it goes all the way up to 100 that's your pan cam speed so at 100, your camera's default speed will be super fast. So you might want to lower that for better control. But yeah, that's uh, that's how the pan cam works. And as you can see, you can, you can easily fly out of the map. You can fly under the map. And there's quite a few like interesting things under the map as well. So, so much exploration um, potential with this feature. And it actually works better than theater mode. Because considering how broken theater mode is and how like hard it is to use the theater controls and the free camera mode in that, you'd be much better off using um, this uh, machinima mode to explore if that's what you want to do. Now, for number 17, here's a small little uh, uh, thing on this map. Not like bug or anything, but it's just a little funny thing. So on the map Aquarius, you know, there's a lot of security cameras around, but this one particular security camera here, it's just pointed at the wall. Like, that's like the most unuseful, unhelpful security camera ever. And this is technically like a blind spot as far as security goes. That camera is just like only like recording the wall there. All the other cameras are fine, but not just, not that one single camera. Alright, for number 18. Uh, you might have seen me do several videos on this during the flight, but several objects in the game, they might have like little secret barcodes on them. And sometimes the barcodes actually do scan to something. Or oh, it might even be QR codes, depending on what it was. I've done like several videos during the Insider flight of this, uh, the Halo Infinite flight. And, you know, this bag of Molchaz barcodes, I couldn't scan it to anything. I don't think it was clear enough. But this crate here also has like a pretty clear barcode, but I also couldn't scan it. But that looks like a valid barcode to me. But if anyone figures out these barcodes, like they manage to scan it or something, let me know what they scan to. I'm definitely very interested. All right, for number 19. If you go to custom games and you set your uh, shields to be basically zero and you also turn on shield vampirism uh, and health vampirism and like turn off basically health and shield recharge then as you might expect you should spawn in game without any shields or health you should have just the empty shield bar beeping you know beeping and flashing red because that's how it worked in all the previous Halo games however for some reason, Halo Infinite doesn't seem to be able to handle that correctly. And once you go in the game, you still have a full shield bar. Even though that's not supposed to be the case. But, it's actually like not correct. As you can see there, a, t a, a tiny little explosion from a, a small distance away killed me instantly. So the custom game setting is correct, you are indeed, or you are indeed shieldless. But for some reason, the game still shows that you have a shield bar and you still have full shields. And your shields aren't draining either, so that's a little bug there, I would assume. Alright, for number 20, on uh, several maps, we got a little, uh, little mini like easter egg here, I suppose. But um, on this keypad here on the map launch site, if you scroll closely on the keypad, there's actually uh, some source code written in, I think that's C++, 
Uh, it's hard to make out, actually. It's not exactly 100% clear, but um, yeah, you got some source code. And I think it's just random source code they pulled from the internet, from like random sites. Because I, I think like with MCC, there are a few uh, um, examples like that as well. And on the map um, on, uh, fragmentation here, there's also a laptop here with some uh, other source code as well. I don't think it's like actual like Halo Infinite source code being used. I think I, I do think it's just some random source code they got from somewhere, like maybe some open source site. Uh, anyways, for number 21, uh, this one's also a pretty uh, small one as well. But once you like use active camo, you know it, it works pretty well in Halo Infinite. I think it works better than some of the more recent Halo games. But once you get into a vehicle, be it the driver's seat, the gunner's seat, or even the passenger seat. Or even just like a turret on the ground, uh, your active camo for some reason stops working, which makes doesn't make much sense at all. This is the first time it's ever happened in a Halo game where your active camo doesn't work while in a vehicle. So I don't know if that's a bug or if that's intentional or not, but I just wanted to point that out. Here's another one. I only have a screenshot for this next one, but you, you get the idea. But the graphics sometimes on PC can easily corrupt and turn your Spartan or any object into like a giant blob sometimes as you can see in this screenshot here from the Reachway. Alright, moving on for, our, for number 23. Sometimes, and this is actually a clip provided by my friend uh, A11GTP, uh, sometimes you might spawn a no HUD. That's, that just randomly happens and then you have to go the whole match without a HUD. Even if you respawn, you don't get your HUD back. You're just completely HUDless. Now, I know you may, think, you may be thinking that you could just turn the HUD opacity off as well, but this happened without the HUD opacity being changed. It's just, just no HUD. So that's uh, another odd occasional rare bug. All right, for number 24, on the map streets, uh, in the arcade, there's actually a little uh, book exchange here, free book exchange, where uh, you could... There's a few interesting books, actually. Um, I think some of them are actually Easter eggs as well. So there's a book here about uh, pigeons, which I think uh, has some significance on this map as well, if you saw one of my other videos about it. And then there's a book on Covenant history. Uh, so <clears throat> another interesting book there. But I think the Easter egg book is actually the one right next to it. It's actually a Condor flight manual. Somehow the UNSC lost one of their... Probably, probably classified manuals, and it ended up in like some random book exchange in, uh, in this town. All right, for our last thing on this list, in the arcade on the map streets, this Halo Infinite arcade machine in the back corner will occasionally play one of three different. It will cycle through three different uh, eight-bit versions of the Halo soundtrack, and they sound pretty cool actually. So I'm just gonna let you listen to a quick sample of a couple tracks. And I will be uh, right back after that. All right, so there you guys have it. Those are, uh, a lot of the major glitches, secrets, and easter eggs so far in Halo Infinite. I know there's definitely a lot more, even in multiplayer, but for now, this is the first set of many. Uh, hopefully you guys found this video to be interested, and if you did enjoy it, then as always, make sure to leave a like. And if there's anything I missed or anything important you want to add, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll definitely do my best to check that out when I get a chance. But aside from that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!